Granola pepper sauce is a staple on many tables throughout the South, but not everyone knows that condiment is made in East Carroll Parish. Panola pepper takes pride in the fact that they keep people employed in what is traditionally one of the top 10 poorest parishes in the country. Twyla TV's Tammy Arinder visited the plant in Lake Providence to find out how they've stayed not only in business, but have even opened a sister company. The quiet of a harvested farm field in East Carroll Parish is broken only by the sound of clinking bottles and loud label makers. Panola pepper sauce is still produced right here in Lake Providence. It started in 1983 by Grady Brown, a row crop farmer who had a hot idea to keep his farm workers employed during the cold winter months. Mike Couillard is Brown's son-in-law. Got a recipe for this pepper sauce. It was his mother's recipe and he decided, look, I'll pay you out of my own pocket this winter and we're going to do nothing but make hot sauce, literally put it in the barn, put a sign out on the road and people could come by and pick it up and we'll do it again next winter. Nearly 50,000 bottles of pepper sauce can be produced in this plant each day. A rotation of the original recipe or one of the many variations offered run through the line. But this plant also bottles sauces and condiments for other brands. A Texas salsa company gets its turn today. Some of the work is still done by hand. Panola averages about 45 employees, depending on demand for the product. Couillard says he could convert nearly 90% of the operation to automation, but that's not in the plans. Well, it's a balance for us. We try to be automated enough to can be competitive, but we're not going to get rid of our employees in place of a robot. It just, it's very warming to the heart and it's really an experience having our kids now here and being a part of it. They've traveled to shows with us. They have their favorite sauce. You made it good. Mm -hmm. Grady Brown no longer oversees the day-to-day -day operation of Panola Pepper. He retired but wanted to keep the business in the family. He invited uh, his daughter Katie and I to come here and take over the operation and he was going to retire. We think that lasted about two weeks and the next thing you know he spawned Providence Foods. <laughs> Brown and his partner, Reynold Minsky, bottle and jar things like green tomatoes, relishes, and jellies. The purpose of Providence is similar to Panola. Use local ingredients when you can, and the local workforce as well. Aaron Candler is the shop supervisor. And we try to get everything we can here in the state. We do go to Arkansas, just try to support everyone local that we can. Panola pepper sauce and Providence Foods are selling all over the world, especially since fast food joints have started putting hot sauce on their sandwiches. Well, pepper sauce is having quite a resurgence. So you know what? Grady Brown has come a long way since that first roadside stand with his pepper sauce. Kristen, back to you. Like Tammy said, Panola pepper sauce is a staple on many tables across North Louisiana and it's spreading. For more information on where you can get your hands on your own, visit our website at twilatv.org.